it's like playing Russian roulette that you don't know if you're gonna wake up with water, you don't know if you got water, you don't know what condition the water is in. We have employees to take care of and families to feed. I mean, if I close, people don't get paid. We can't drink it, we can't cook in it. I'm scared to bathe in it. More than 150,000 Jackson, Mississippi residents are nearing one week without access to clean tap water after torrential rains overwhelmed the city's main treatment plant. Residents had already been under a boil water notice since the end of July. The city's mayor, Shokwe Antar Lumumba, has warned about the failing water system for years, and he joins us now. Good morning, Mayor. Give us an update on how things stand this morning. How many people are still trying to get safe drinking water? Well, first and foremost, good morning, Martha. Thank you for having me, and thank you for lifting up this challenge. Uh, as of today, uh, we have seen some gains within the system. Uh, the, the hardworking men and women at our water treatment facility uh, have been uh, uh, optimistic about the progress that has been taking place. Uh, however, we are still in an emergency, uh, will be an emergency even as the water is restored to every home uh, and even as the boil water notice is lifted because that is the fragile state of our water treatment facility. Uh, there are still operations at various points of the city uh, that are delivering bottled bottled water, uh, because you know while while I believe uh, that that a good majority or uh, a certain growing majority of our residents do have water pressure now, uh, they are still under boil water threat and unable to consume the water, and that makes it difficult uh, with just. Uh, the, the quality of life and the daily tasks that we become accustomed to. And, and at this point, how much longer do you estimate it will take before everyone has safe, drinkable water? Yeah, well, safe, drinkable, reliable, sustainable, uh, and an equitable water treatment uh, facility is a much longer road ahead. Uh, in terms of you know having water that uh, will be approved by the Department of Health, uh, as as uh, having tested and and you know is fit for for consumption, uh, I think that that we're a matter of days, not weeks, away from that. Uh, but as I have always warned, you know, even when the pressure is restored, even when uh, we're not under a boil water notice, it's not a matter of if these systems will fail, but when these systems will fail. Uh, there are so many points of failure. We're talking about a set of accumulated challenges that have taken place over the better part of 30 years. Uh, I remind people that I moved to Jackson as a little boy in 1988. Uh, I distinctly remember in 1989 when this system crashed uh, after a winter storm. Uh, and so we're seeing uh, not only the age, uh, the age and the wear and tear on our system, uh, but we're seeing the effects of, of, uh, of climate change. Uh, we have colder winters, hotter summers, and more annual precipitation. And all of that is taking a toll on our water infrastructure. As, as you say, you have been warning about this for years and have been pointing the finger at Republican Governor Tate Reeves and GOP-controlled legislature. This is what the governor says. It will take time for this to come to fruition, but we are here in times of crisis for anyone in the state who needs it. That's my responsibility as governor, and it is what everyone in my administration is committed to ensuring. Do you believe that? Well, well, let me say this. I, I've been lifting up this this uh, circumstance amongst uh, many uh, individuals that are in leadership and have influence over uh, a fix and a solution. And so I don't want to put it squarely in one person's lap. Uh, but as I, I think that there uh, is a, a well-defined record of, as me lifting that up. Uh, but, you know, I'm less focused on, on you know, that portion of it and more focused on the, the immediate near term of resolving this challenge. And so there has been a coalition built. Uh, the state did join me uh, early last week and, and have a discussion about supporting us. And so while they're at the table, while they're on the ground with the hardworking men and women of our water treatment facility, I don't think that it profits me or the residents of Jackson for me to take jabs at them. Uh, and so, you know, I will say that thus far within that coalition and, and thus far with the people working on the ground, whether it be state officials, federal officials, or what have you, uh, there hasn't been uh, much stepping of toes of the actual people executing the responsibility of, of getting water restored. 
And so I, I have to be optimistic. Uh, I have to make certain uh, that we don't let anybody off the hook and we continue uh, to see this into its conclusion. And its conclusion won't be even after water is restored this week uh, and even after the boil water notice is lifted. Its conclusion won't take place until we can look the residents of Jackson in the face and say, you know, we have uh, a greater sense of, of reliability, uh, that we believe in this system and we believe in the equity of this system and that certain portions of our city won't be disproportionately affected by this uh, week in and week out. Okay, we hope that comes soon. Mayor, thanks very much for joining us this morning. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.